big story is around the late uh, premier of KwaZulu Natal, the first premier of KwaZulu Natal. Today, the IFP president, Velenkosi Nishabisa, will lead the party's National Executive Committee on a visit to the family of the late Dr. Frank Mzalose to pay their respects. The first democratically elected KZN Premier died on Saturday from COVID-19 related complications. The KZN Provincial Executive Committee, led by Premier Sile Zigalala, um, also visited the family in Newcastle yesterday. Mzalose will be laid to rest on Thursday in what is expected to be a state funeral. ENCA's Tuba Vilane has been tracking the story and joins us now for an update. Tuba, has the IFP delegation arrived yet? We're still waiting for the IFP delegation to La Cisre to arrive here. Uh, but as you said, yesterday we've seen a number of dignitaries coming to this house to pay their respect. We saw the provincial executive members led by Premier Sikhez Galala. As today we are expecting the IFP, as you will know that um, the late former Premier Dr. Frank Ndlalose was the member of the IFP and actually served as the national chairperson of the IFP and also played a huge role um, in that party. So we're expecting the party led by its president, Velenko Sinitlabisa, to arrive at any time from now. Uh, according to the plan was that they are going to meet at a college not far from here and then proceed to the house here where they will send their condolences to the family. But um, we're expecting that um, after that we'll then have an opportunity to speak to the IFP president because we haven't heard anything from him. We got a statement from the um, IFP, the former IFP president and the founding president of the IFP, Ingosman Osutub Telezi, describing Mzalose as a pillar of the province, saying he played a huge role in, in storing peace in the province of Wazulu Natal during the difficult times. As you will understand that he was the, prim the first democratic premier um, in 1994 and then he led until 1997 and then in 1998 he was appointed um, an ambassador um, of South Africa to Egypt. Yeah, I wonder to what extent the IFP will be feeling um, a sense of needing to revive the good old days uh, when it really performed well in Guazulu Natal. The last two elections, for example, have been particularly good for the IFP. We've seen a bit of a resurgence, but I wonder uh, if this will be the moment when they reflect uh, on a time when they had enough support to actually lead that particular province. Tuba, let me ask you about something else that came out during the week of paying tribute to uh, the late um, uh, Dr. Frank Mzalose. We heard from KZN Premier Sile Zegalala, who says he's been in talks about affording uh, the former Premier a state funeral, an official funeral of sorts. What do we know in this regard? Yes, when we spoke to Premier Sikhe Zigalala yesterday, he did confirm that they have approached President Cyril Ramaphosa to grant uh, the state funeral for uh, Ubabo Mzalose. Yes, indeed, this morning we received a confirmation from the President's office confirming that uh, the President has granted the former Premier a, spe an ofi a special official provincial funeral category 2. So we know that um, that um, in honor of his role that he played, we also understand that he also played a huge role in the negotiations during the Cortesa negotiations um, before the dawn of democracy in this in this country. So we um, that has been confirmed. The funeral is going to take place on Thursday. Um, though uh, when we spoke to the family yesterday, they had some reservations that in regards to the um, the numbers of people, as you understand that we still under lockdown. Um, regulations. So, but um, when we spoke to them later on, they did confirm that they are making arrangements for those who will want to follow up on what is taking place on the funeral, that there will be a um, screen uh, that will be erected across um, Newcastle. I know that here at home there will be one, and um, there will also be one at the college where the IFP is currently meeting now, and um, we believe that it will also be streamed in other um, television news, including ourselves.
All right, thank you for that. That's ENCA's Tuba Villani out in Newcastle there with the news that the late former Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, Dr. Frank Mzalose, will be afforded a special funeral um, in terms of the guidelines that are set, uh, set up by government uh, for affording such funerals. It only makes sense, doesn't it? He was the first Premier of KwaZulu-Natal after the 1994 uh, elections when that province was still led by the IFP.